big issue is really the effect of new technologies on the prospects for, for development, particularly in the low-income countries of Africa, uh, but in developing countries in general. The optimists think that new technologies uh, are going to allow developing countries to essentially leapfrog just by accessing these newer technologies and, and not having to replicate old models of industrialization and old technologies. And this is a wonderful thing for low-income countries. Others think that uh, these new technologies, in fact, make it harder for developing countries to converge um, and uh, increase their living standards because um, they're very demanding and developing countries don't have the skills and the capabilities to actually access and make full use of these new technologies. I was looking at two kinds of uh, really secondary uh, information or data. One is what has been happening to the uh, employment consequences of exports and global participation in global value chains uh, in low-income countries. And the other is, is looking at the evidence we have on the technological intensity of these global value chains and the degree to which new technologies have made labor and, and, and low-skill labor in particular uh, more or less substitutable for capital and other production inputs. The basic finding is really much uh, more in line with the pessimists' view. There is really concern that um, developing countries uh, on the supply side, on the production side, are being disadvantaged by these new technologies, that these global value chains are generating very little employment prospects in developing countries. And, and it's, it's suggesting that the most uh, abundant resource that developing countries have, which is low-skill labor, uh, is particularly disadvantaged uh, by these new technologies because these new technologies essentially use less and less of this kind of labor. And that's generally bad news for low-income countries.